Hey guys, so Lego. It's a really um, simple video that I wanted to do um, for styling because um, I thought it might be some benefit to some of you guys. But anyway, so I work from home uh, in Saudi. So if I work from home, um, I usually dress like a bum. <laughs> You know, um, I usually want to wear something that I'm wearing at home and I can easily switch to go outside. So if you're a house, um, if you're a, you know, a working mom um, that stays at home and do business from her house or if you are a stay-at-home mom and looking after kids all day long or something and you have to go out to the grocery or something, this might be useful. This is for people who actually work from home, punya outfit. So um, whenever I do stay at home, because um, I'm working from home and I have to sometimes have Skype meetings or whatever, I want to wear something that is super comfortable but at the same time, um, it is also kind of like not so bad looking, do you know what I mean? Like not so frumpy. So I tend to pick um, long tops like these ones that I have and then I pair it with um, whatever stuff. And this is actually what I sleep in. Um, I tend to also sleep like this because it's really cold here in Saudi or I find this convenient when I stay at my in-laws. So when I'm at my in-laws, I want to wear something that's super comfortable but at the same time, it kind of like is long sleeve even though I'm with my father-in-law. I don't have to fully cover but you know, even though I'm not wearing the hijab, it's nice to I don't know, for some reason, I feel quite conscious if I'm not wearing long sleeve and whatever. So I tend to dress like this also when I'm at my in-laws. So let's just say my child, we want to go out. So from looking like this, um, I would say that if we want to go out, personally for me, if it's kind of cold or something, I would put on a jacket. And uh, just because I feel like it does bring something to the outfit. So for example, if I want to go out and it's really cold, now, of course, when it's really cold at home, okay, I have this like frumpy looking like blanket-ish um, cardigan that I'll show you guys. It is super long. So I have this. So basically, this is what I wear, which I even super, super cold at home. You know, this is like one of those, I don't know, like cardigan that looks like a slimoid <laughs> that I got from Zara. But they're really convenient when I am at home. So I tend to wear this, you know, when I'm at home in Saudi and, and it's really cold, I just wrap myself. But would this be something that I go out with when I want to look smart or something, you know? Because as of now, I have my, you know, halaka that I want to go through. No, because it looks like I'm wearing, you know, a blankie. So no thanks. <laughs> I don't want to be looking like that. I actually like to look smart. Um, even though I'm very comfortable, I like to look smart. So what I do is I kind of pair it with a jacket. So when we're wearing all black, I feel like it's important that um, there is texture to what we wear. So I'm, I'm coming a bit closer to the camera. So as you can see, even though this is an all black ensemble, but there is a lot of detailing on it. So for example, this has something like a wrap thingy that goes. So whenever we produce a top at all, we tend to do this. Even though it's just one color, we tend to add a lot of detailing. It's got a little bit of detailing on the hands as well. This is actually bed for jammies, I think that's what it's called. And I'm wearing some old pants that I got from Olam as well. Um, this one, okay, so as you can see, so I'm gonna try and go closer. So this actually has a contrast of satin and another fabric. You know, this is satin and this is another stretchable fabric. So um, I tend to wear this kind of stuff just because it looks really chic and smart. But yet again, it's super comfortable for me to sleep in. And instead of wearing that, like, you know, blanket, I would match it with um, a jacket that is, again, just all black. Just because it's easy for me to manage an all black, you know, um, stuff. But I've got this jacket on. So again, it's black, but it's got a lot of detailing. The thing about wearing black is um, it's easy to manage. At the same time, like if it has a lot of like detailing, it makes that baju look super wow. Do you know what I mean? Like it makes it look like it's, I don't know, like very demure or something, even though it's just something that you put on without effort. So um, what I like about this jacket, of course, is it's got this detailing here. It's got this four leather. And there you go from the back, as you can see. So I like it like that. And then what I do is I pair it with um, something like this. So I got these, I got these from Zara. They were like, not that expensive actually. Um, probably a couple of hundred, hundred something. I'm not sure, maybe 200 something because it's real leather. But I got these from Zara and I would actually just go out like this. So I'm gonna wear these 
pair it with um, whatever handbag that I that I actually love. And then, so if you're gonna buy skin again, like if you buy dark stuff, like stuff that is dark color, go for it stuff that has a lot of texture, a lot of detailing. So for for me, I, I like this because it has texture. It's dark color. It's dark brown with a hint of maroon. But again, it's got that snake skin texture to it. So it adds, um, I don't know, it gives a little bit of something, something. You know what I mean? <laughs> but, okay, so I'll show you my outfit. Ta-da! There you go. So, um, after this, I've got to go to Halaka. And this is exactly, so I'll just put on a jacket, put on these shoes, and I am ready to just go out and do my thing whether I'm supposed to meet my friends for Halaka or whether I want to have brunch or something. So this is the outfit. Or I want to go to the groceries. So instead of picking the blanket that I usually wear, I just pick a nice jacket and then I'm ready to go. Again, the jacket. So let's talk a little bit about outerwear because outerwear is quite important. Um, when we pick outerwear, try, to, to, try not to pick something that is tight. Try to pick something that has a lot of room because actually when we wear something that is tight, it looks like nanka busu <laughs> and it doesn't look classy anymore. So if you're eyeing for something that's really classy, try to pick like an outerwear that is not tight, that is complimentary, it's feminine, but it also gives you a lot of room. So for example, I give you something that like it's not complimentary if you want to look um, elegant and demure, demure but also be super comfortable. I'm going to give you an example of what an outerwear that is not like nice for me. It's just my opinion. By the way, this is just my opinion. At the end of the day, you wear what makes you feel um, comfortable, what is your style. It is very different for each and every person. So whatever that is useful for you, you take. If it's not useful, you just leave it out, okay? Okay, so I'm going to give you an example. Oh, where is it? Okay. So I've got two um, sweaters here. Now this one, it's a stretchable. The thing with stretchable fabric is we have to be really careful because it can look tacky. If it's too tight, it looks really tacky. So this is a knitted um, fabric that, uh, well, if it's knitted, of course, it'll be stretchable. Now the problem with this is if I wear this, I'm going to show you guys, okay? So if I wear this, if it's too tight, oh, there you go. Do you see that on my sleeve? Do you see how it's tight? Yeah, on my sleeve. So I'm going to wear the other side and then you can have a look. When something, when, when, okay, so when something is tight here, I just feel like it makes us look, I don't know, just makes it look cheap, you know? So I, I'm not really a fan of this outfit, like this kind of outerwear, just because when it's knitted and it's tight here, um, to me, it just doesn't look nice. It, it, it loses its, um, I don't know, like the expensive look. So I I, I wouldn't go for this um, type of stuff if I want to go for outerwear. Now, in contrast, so I've got another, this one that I stole from my mom. Okay, this is a knitted fabric. So this is made out of wool. It's, yeah, probably my mom bought it, cost a bomb. But it also has the right cutting. So I'll give you an example. When I'm wearing this, it gives me a lot of room. So let me show you. For outerwear, you want to get something that is gives a lot of room. So when I wear this, okay, <gasps> contrast to what I was wearing before. This does not. This does not make me look frumpy, by the way. But it makes. But you know, it it, it looks super classy. Not like just now. So for me, would I wear this? Yes. For an outerwear, this is something that I would wear. Can you see it? Ta-da! So if you want to pick something that is knitted fabric, make sure that it has a sort of volume, it's thick, and um, make sure that it's not tight. So, you know, it wouldn't make your hands look like nanka busu like that. It wouldn't make your arms look like nanka busu like that. So, um, I'm going to say go for this. And obviously, I love the length as well. It's a little bit longer. I think whenever we are short, when we wear something a little bit long, it's nice. Okay, let's just say I'm in Saudi and it's not really um, um, it's not really cold. Or you're somebody who actually loves to wear abayas. Now I find abayas super super useful for people who want to be super modest. So if you've got this outfit that you wear at home, 
you know, at home, we tend to be a little bit more relaxed with our outfits. And this is not super tight, by the way, for me. Of course, everybody has a different, you know, um, um, definition of what is tight for them. But for me, this still has a lot of room. As you can see, so I wouldn't say this is tight. However, some people get really conscious when um, when they're wearing like this and they want to wear something a bit more looser. So I would say that get a really nice abaya. Okay. So I've got an abaya. So this one, I would just put it on me. There you go. And I am ready to just, you know, just get out from the house and do my thing and match it with a nice handbag. There you go, and we're ready. You want to go for your classes, or you want to go for you know grocery shopping. You want to go whatever your halaka or whatever you know. You got a meeting, whatever that you were wearing, so it doesn't take you a long time to just get ready and look really nice. And on top of that, I feel like this is useful as well. You don't have to change a lot of baju. So when you're at home, you just hang this abaya or your jacket or you know, whatever knitted fabric that you had before, knitted cardigan, and that's it. And then you can go on about and do whatever that you need to do. So, um, just so that you know, like a um, few things that we need in our wardrobe that is easy to match. Um, number one is we all need this kind of shoes where it's really comfortable but classy. It's something that is so easy to wear. So I feel like if you're going to spend a lot on something, make sure that it's something that you wear all the time. And if you're buying something, if we're buying something that is super uncomfortable, we won't wear it. And then we've already spent a lot. So make sure that if you're going to spend on something, it is something that you can wear lots and lots of time. And you will pick this thing to wear. So if not, it's a waste. But let's say I was in my abaya. So what I would match it with is... I would match it with the sandals, okay? Um, because it looks super nice with the blue. And I don't mind wearing like black underneath. Even though I have black underneath, it's okay. So I would match it with this, this. And where was the other handbag? I'll let you guys have a look. One more time. Just so that you can see how effortless the outfit is. It's very easy to wear. Abayas are so easy to wear. You can't even like, oh, it's so easy. There you go! Ta-da! So, um, I'm sorry, like this abaya is not for sale actually. I tend to make abayas for myself. I go to the tailor. Um, I, don't, I don't know if I'm actually going to sell it under Olam because I don't know whether people actually wear abayas or not in Malaysia. But in Saudi, we have to wear abaya. So, this is how I dress most of the time. So, I'm wearing whatever that I'm wearing, my PJs. You know, when I want to go out from the compound, I will just wear an abaya. And it looks fab. Just with a simple sandal and then a nice bag but if i'm going to see my friends i don't have to wear an abaya so what i do is i just wear a nice jacket and if i'm in malaysia if i work home from malaysia i'll probably do the same i'll just wear a nice jacket but really light because malaysia is hot can i mean what's the point isn't it so that's it for me i hope um it's a short video on how to you know style outerwears that is easy and somewhat modest again this is on my own personal opinion whatever that is good you take whatever that's not good just leave it out bye guys assalamualaikum